have an urgent message from Starfleet. Would you like for me to put it through? This is Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. I am trying to reach Master Engineer Sanders. It is my honor to inform you that you have been commissioned to build Starfleet's next generation of combadges. Your design will lead Starfleet into the deepest, darkest, unexplored corners of this galaxy, and we look forward to seeing your design. It's been a long year, guys, but here we are. We finally have a working com badge. This has been a journey. I'm going to show you how this all started, um, how it became a year-long obsession. Five months, six days, 11 hours, two minutes. And how we've got to this, a working Bluetooth com badge. I was at work the other day, and my coworker and I decided we needed a better way to get a hold of each other. And he's a huge Star Trek fan. So I decided, well, they've got com badges. Why don't we make our own com badges? I can make that. Yeah, we could use our phones. Yeah, we could use the phones at work. Yeah, we could use the intercom system at work, but what fun would that be? We need com badges. And so this is the journey that followed that conversation. Now let's build it. Live long and prosper. Enjoy. So just to kind of give a brief summary of everything as we went through the process. So, um, these models here were some models I picked up for free um, off the internet. Um, I initially thought that I could just um, electroplate these. I thought maybe I could find some electronics that were small enough to maybe fit in a back cover of these. But as I quickly learned, electroplating isn't as easy as you would think. And it took me actually a really long time to even get decent results um, in the electroplating process. These were some of the better attempts for my first few batches. Again, for every model you see here, there's probably 10 models that didn't make it. Together, they would make a rectangular square enclosing 121 square meters. If put end to end vertically, they would make a pole 44 meters high, or two of 22. Thank you. Um, for most people, that would seem like a waste of time. However, for me, um, it was definitely a learning thing where I wanted to master a skill you know it's been really painful to watch you struggle for all this time so once i realized that i wasn't any good at electroplating i set out to learn all i could about electroplating i kept refining my methods of electroplating while also started to dabble in 3d modeling of my own com badge and as you can see here these models differ from these in that i took off the indentation or insignia marks off the front of the badge. The reason for this um, is so I would end up just getting horrible plating results and so I tried to simplify the design of the com badge so that it was mostly flat surfaces um, so that it was easier to work with. I would cite regulation but I know you will simply ignore it. And so I actually went pretty far along with this design. I hollowed out the back, made more than what I thought was ample enough room for the electronics, which as you'll see turned out to be a woeful mistake. Refined my graphite paint each time, learned to get better and better graphite coverage and smoothness um, to the point where I was airbrushing it. And that got me to the point where I thought I was done. This is nearly a mirror plated com badge. It's actually working. Who would have thought? You're finally starting to get the hang of it. Exactly what I wanted. Um, I thought we were going to be done here. But lo and behold, when I took the electronics that I had purchased out of the container, I discovered that they were much larger than would fit in the com badge that I was trying to build. Wow, that was a pretty big mistake. Bet you won't do that again. And so back to the design board, I actually redesigned the entire com badge from scratch this time. So I actually took my calipers, measured each piece, um, made that shape in the modeling software, and then built the com badge around those pieces. This is the shape we ended up with there. Not knowing much about wall thickness or size. Um, these things ended up being huge. I mean, big enough to fit a 
first version of my combat gen side, which, you know, felt a little bit too much. And not to mention that I think I printed these um, mirror image of what they should have been. So there was that as well. Perhaps you could describe how it feels to be angry. I could then use that as a reference. So let's not forget that my friend is the Trekkie, not I. I just like building stuff. So as the designs moved along, I actually learned to refine the modeling to reduce the thickness of the walls and the size of the piece, um, reducing the overall size of the combat significantly from the original file, uh, making it much lighter and easier to print. And I also added multiple rec uh, recesses for the different electronics. So then I started to attempt to electroplate this larger design. Um, I actually had pretty good luck. Um, however, the opening here was still giving me a little bit of trouble, but I liked it enough to justify trying to keep it. The interval of uncertainty was actually fairly brief, Captain. It only seemed long to you. This was actually just a test piece. Um, it, it turned out really good. It's only discolored because of a patina here. I was actually doing a video on sanding methods for electroplating. That video just never got finished. So that was relic from that begotten video. This was actually gonna be the original finished model. Um, and I got a little greedy and I kept electroforming, electroforming. Um, this part actually weighs more um, than this part with the electronics and everything because the uh, plating is so thick. So the original is 28 grams, plated is 48 grams. Um, and then also for the cover, 18 grams, and then 8 grams. However, um, it started flaking off at one point and I tried to layer a new layer of paint on it and as you can see I just never got the layer adhesion that I wanted from that point forward um, so I actually just started over again for the hundredth time we are currently attempting to isolate the corrupted circuit pathways I reckon the process should take less than two hours what did you say and the back of the com badge went through multiple iterations as well. Um, these two being the final um, designs. As you can see it has a five screw um, attachment design with one power switch was the original model. However, I decided to go back on that and I changed it to a five magnet design with no external power switch. Um, just because I wasn't happy with the functionality of it and I was afraid that maybe at some point someone might need to get inside the device and so having it be able to open uh, might be nice from time to time. And the back is just magnetic and snaps on. So finally, after all of that, I finally had a successfully 3D printed piece and I was now ready to start polishing the final uh, electroplated layer. I'm going to time lapse this part for you guys because as you'll eventually see um, it takes me over four um, hours to fully sand and polish this piece. I use a combination all the way from 220 grit sandpaper all the way up to I believe 5000 grit um, wet sanding here um, to get the mirror polish or mirror finish on this and then I finally finished it off using my uh, buffing wheel with a buffing compound to achieve um, the final finish on the piece holy cow guys Whoa. I hate sanding did I mention that I'm going to go ahead and install the electronics. Um, these have gotten mangled up a little bit, so we're going to have to repair those. Um, they've honestly set out for the last four months uh, when I thought I was going to be done. So I'm going to get my soldering iron. I'll go ahead and time lapse through this part as well. And then I will show you once it's in place. Riding on the
With that, it's time for the final showcase. Enjoy. Hey Siri, call Space Honey. Calling Space Honey iPhone. Yes, Master Engineer. I'm calling you from the new comm badge. I think it's breaking up. Needs more work. All right, guys. This has been Master Engineer Sanders from Starfleet. Signing off. Until next time, live long and prosper. Keep building cool stuff. To boldly go when no man's gone before. Deep space calls we must explore. To boldly